My children did not appreciate my John Bon Jovi living on a prayer karaoke this morning. Jude, you didn't like my rendition? It was scary. It would be so cool if a train flew. <gasps> Here it is! <laughs> you called it, buddy! High five! Yes! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> this is train track in the air! middle of a long travel day and we just passed up a sign heading into a mountain that says if you're longer than 30 feet from your king vent to your axle you should not take this road so Jason is going to get out and measure because we're not sure what that measurement is before we go this way and we're really hoping that we can fit because we're all tired it's been a very long day the baby has been fussy but he just fell asleep and I really don't want to turn around <laughs> and add a couple hundred miles to an already very long day for us. Um, we're usually in the 200 miles or fewer club. This one was like right at 300 already. So we don't want to add any more time to that because we're slow. And we're all kind of feeling done. It's 345. We're usually to our destination by now. Are we gonna fit? We're under by about a foot. Sweet. So we don't have to turn around. I don't know, let's see. I don't wanna turn around. There is no other way to get out there. Well, well this doesn't... I say we go for it and we just take it slow. Have any suggestions? Continue on Isabella Walker Pass Road. Are we gonna have to turn around? What did you measure with? A tape measure. Okay. I was just making sure sometimes you measure things with your feet, so I just wanted to make sure it was accurate. <laughs> Didn't need my level for this one. <laughs> Once we got to California, the views were absolutely breathtaking. But my favorite part of getting to a new campground is getting everything situated and exploring our new playground, our new backyard for the week. When your sissy takes you for a walk, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did you go for a walk with Zizi? No, Zizi's a mess. With the Kern River right in our backyard, the first thing the kids wanted to do was go fishing. So we hit the local tackle shop to pick up all the things we needed.
Unfortunately, we didn't have any luck, but we sure had fun trying. I've heard people say, it must be nice to be on vacation all the time. And this isn't a vacation. It's still life with kids. It's not always easy. There's still laundry and dishes and toddler tantrums. Sometimes we just hang out. We do things we used to do in a house, like have dance parties. every beautiful location and fun adventure you see, there's also real life. There's also kids and piles of dishes, toddler tantrums, long car days. But we're making a choice. Making a choice to live this life. This lifestyle that brings a certain level of simplicity. A certain level of peace. It allows us time to slow down and notice things to see things differently, to take it all in. That is such a gift. Our next stop, Sequoia National Forest. <laughs>